guys, my name is Jenny. I'm here at the Beckman Institute for Advanced Science and Technology, and I'm going to give you a little tour of the Rhodes Lab. Let's go! One of the studies we're doing in the lab right now has to do with optogenetics. That's what this cage is for, and you can see the micro-LEDs lit up when they are placed inside of it. For the optogenetic study, we have to determine what genotype each mouse in the experiment is. We can do this by running what's called PCR. PCR is a method that allows us to take a sample of tissue from an animal, such as a mouse, and amplify or copy the small segments of DNA contained within that tissue sample. This allows us to genotype each individual mouse. The reason we need a specific genotype of mouse for the optogenetics experiment is so we can do a procedure called trapping neurons. This allows us to label neurons that are activated during wheel running and then subsequently reactivate those same neurons with the micro LEDs in a pattern that mimics wheel running. Centrifuges are used to separate liquids based on density. So when you spin a liquid down in a centrifuge, the particles with the highest density will fall to the bottom of the tube, while the particles with the lowest density will remain at the top. A cryostat contains a chamber that can maintain very low temperatures. Laboratories use a cryostat to preserve frozen tissue samples, while a microtome, an extremely sharp cutting instrument mounted inside the cryostat, slices the tissue into pieces thin enough to be observed under a microscope. Here in the Rhodes Lab, we have three light microscopes. These allow us to image tissue at various magnifications so that we can quantify cell numbers and areas of different brain regions. Another part of our lab we call the fish lab. This lab houses many different tanks, most of them containing clownfish. What's interesting about clownfish is that the males and females roles are reversed from what we typically expect. This means that the females are larger than the males and the males are the primary parental caregivers. 